Thank you. Yeah, we've got a pursuit. So. Um, let's get up to Sky 5. Mike Case. Hey guys, uh, good afternoon. I'll tell you for a Friday, it must be Friday because there is another pursuit here in downtown Los Angeles. This is at 7th and Alameda. He's heading southbound on Alameda, a white in the back. This was a stolen vehicle that started in Olympic Division and they've chased him down into south central Los Angeles and then back up here to uh, the downtown area just near the 10 freeway. We're just getting uh, situated on him here, and uh, uh, he's continuing. Now, what we don't know is whether the guy's armed or not. Almost missed another car here. So, again, we're in downtown area. We'll get a better location for you a little bit west of uh, Alameda and north of the 10 freeway. All right, this guy, as you see there, uh, w boy, just totally reckless driving. We saw him almost hit another vehicle, and he just made another turn, cutting off. Uh, a lot of vehicles in downtown Los Angeles. Yeah, we're being told that uh, this started around Washington and Vermont as a call for backup after reports of a stolen vehicle and then it ultimately okay, turned Rich, into the follow. pursuit. Okay. Uh, it looks like uh, maybe in the back, Mike, it looks like something's about like There's a motorcycle. A, mo a motorbike, yeah. Yeah, uh, Rich, our cameraman, Rich Pricker was telling us about what it looked like had in the back, which was a parking lot. Now, is he gonna bail out? Okay. I see it, Rich. The guy is running the driver. They have good eyes on the driver along the other side of that truck. They've got plenty of backup units. They should be able to take him in custody. If not, just a quick perimeter. We're going to get on the other side of this building. Again, a pursuit that's been going on for just a few minutes here that started in Olympic. And uh, we're going to see if we can't get a little bit closer to this guy. Always kind of scary for those that uh, looks like a business there uh, with that open door to maybe a, a garage or something. And then that suspect running in there and then the cops pulling up. You can see some of the uh, likely employees uh, run getting out of that building. Yeah. <laughs> well, you just kind of wonder if maybe there's a door on the other side of that building where you can uh, continue to to run away. But um, hopefully they've got him stuck in the building now and it's just a matter of time before he's finally under arrest. Well, you can see what they're doing now. The central officers, along with Olympic officers, are setting up a perimeter. So uh, a couple of blocks in either direction should be fairly easy to capture this guy because the traffic is so uh, condensed here in this area, and there are a lot of people that are out watching. So if the officers momentarily lost sight of him, uh, they'd have plenty of folks that would be able to uh, say, yeah, he went in this door or in this uh, parking space, but they should be able to uh, cordon off this area fairly quickly. Again, north of the 10 freeway and west of Alameda, the end of a pursuit of a stolen vehicle, a white Dodge Ram van. Or a, a pickup truck, rather. Didn't seem like this uh, pursuit lasted too long. Um, you said it was near the 10, uh, but it looks like uh, a lot of police officers moving in LAPD into that possibly some type of storage uh, business or production. Look at all the officers going in. Wow. Yeah, and as you saw just a few moments ago, they sealed off the other side of the building. So uh, there's really no escape for them at this side. point. And as you said, boy, that must be... We have to see 25 officers yeah, going no inside that building. Yep. And as you mentioned, Mike Case, uh, uh, on the other side, it's this pink building. If you're just joining us, the suspect uh, bailed from his vehicle, ooh. stolen vehicle that had a motorcycle in the back. And uh, where it says uh, East Pico right there, that's the back of, uh, or possibly the front of the building, actually. The back is where the storage and probably drop-offs are. But he is in that building somewhere uh, that was an active uh, working uh, operation because a lot of the employees ran out as well. So they've got this covered, which is great uh, with the perimeter. So likely he's just inside. Well, we understand from scanner traffic now that there have been shots fired. An officer, uniformed officers reported over their radio shots fired. So uh, who's down and who is a victim? We're not sure yet what uh, instigated the shooting. We're certainly not sure in downtown Los Angeles, but a shots fired call went out. We don't know whether the suspect is down or one of the officers are down. Of course, we're going to stay on top of this. This is going to lengthen this investigation for sure. They're going to be calling the paramedics out here uh, to render aid to whoever was uh, shot. But again, uh, the end of a pursuit, the suspect went into this building. You can see in the center of the picture and uh, a shots fired call came out as soon as they were able to cordon off this one building. We're just still waiting for more scanner traffic to find out, uh, you know, exactly what stage this is in.
Well, like you said, uh, we don't know if yeah. it's an officer that's down or the suspect, but that's the scary part of these pursuits is that oftentimes they don't know if a suspect is armed. Uh, obviously, they're dangerous because they're driving a vehicle at high speeds and running from police, but armed is always uh, something they have to deal with, especially when they're um, at the end of the pursuit. But this guy bailed from the vehicle um, and ran into that business. I just hoping that no innocent workers in that building were injured. All right, this of course all stemming well, from a pursuit of a, a, a white pickup truck, which was really technically two stolen vehicles because there was a motorbike in the back of the pickup and he bailed and ran inside this building. And that's where we are right now. What were you gonna say, Mike? Uh, good point, Bo uh, Lou, especially, you know, the, uh, and Glenn, you know, the, uh, what they didn't know, or what we don't know if they knew, was the circumstances uh, surrounding the stolen vehicle, that uh, Dodge Ram pickup truck. If it was in the notes that the suspect was armed or the vehicle was taken at gunpoint like a uh, carjacking, uh, that hasn't been determined yet, but for them to run in there uh, after the suspect and then shots fired, you have to think that maybe they didn't know that he was armed mm -hmm. or maybe they saw something in the building that they weren't sure about. So mm -hmm. the exact particulars, looking out here, I can see about 25 black and white. So they've got this area completely surrounded. Folks in the area, you don't have to worry about this guy escaping. He's not going to go anywhere. But uh, he is inside this building somewhere and a shots fired call over the scanner came out just moments ago. You know, a lot of times during these uh, and while we're talking, uh, the images on your right hand side of your screen are earlier when this pursuit was active. You can see they're almost clipping another vehicle on that left turn and that pedestrian. And shortly after this, he he foot bails out of this bit. And then the images on the left hand side are, are live. But Mike, you know, you can speak to sometimes, uh, and Rich Prickett can too, that, or he can't speak, but he is familiar with this, um, body language of the officers sometimes on scenes like this, uh, you know, a little bit more casual or uptight uh, can give us some signs. You're right about that. And of course, at the end of a pursuit, nobody's really casual, but I understand what you mean. Uh, they want to get this guy in custody as quickly as possible. In this very crowded area of uh, downtown L.A., a little bit south, or rather north of the 10 freeway near Alameda, uh, there are lots of folks on foot. So their concern then would go, once he has uh, stopped the vehicle, to look out for their safety. If they believed he was armed, boy, they want to get him in custody as soon as they can. If they did not know he was armed and he went in the side of the building, they're going to go in right after him. But until the handcuffs go on, nobody's relaxing. This time, we may or may not have a suspect or an officer down. We just haven't verified that. We're going to check with the uh, with the uh, police helicopter that's orbiting here, but he, because he is uh, coordinating this, and we'll see if we can't get something from him. Well, it looks just from, as you talk about body language and the way they're setting up, they're trying to you know, keep people back, which uh, makes you think that this is still a a live situation and the suspect is not down even though shots have been fired Police uh, because they're trying to keep you know spectators farther back for their safety. Yep, you can see that at uh, sort of the bottom suspect right hand side of, of your both. screen. Um, and right now Mike is uh, sort of uh, speaking with the, um, the, the chopper that's uh, ahead, overhead from LAPD. But uh, the officers, you know, they trained for this type of stuff. They immediately did, uh, officers ran in, but Thank then the so uh, additional that. officers created that perimeter around the entire building and essentially the entire block. And now six or seven minutes later, they're uh, cordoning off uh, pedestrians, looky loos as you might, uh, who have seen something happening here and they're wanting to come over and see what's happening and taking pictures. But they want to keep them away for, as Glenn mentioned, for their safety. Mike, I'm catching a little bit of uh, your conversation there. Have you learned something new? Uh, we did. We talked to the uh, pilot and observer aboard uh, one of the police helicopters that's orbiting this, who was in fact uh, following along in this pursuit before it terminated here in downtown uh, L.A., just north of the 10 freeway. We understand that the, the one that's down is the suspect, the driver of that pickup truck, and he was armed with a stolen weapon. Now, we don't know uh, uh, where, when and where they got that information, but the weapon apparently was stolen. Uh, the car, of course, was stolen. Maybe the officers knew that when they went inside. We don't know. But uh, the suspect is down. Don't know the extent of that injury. But shots were fired almost immediately after going into the building. The suspect is down. Rescue ambulance on the way. The area is cordoned off. 
we all understand that all officers accounted for, no officers injured here at this shooting at the end of a pursuit. Mike, it's been a, a little bit of, uh, it seems like they obviously are going to call an ambulance pretty quickly, and it's um, been a minute uh, before the and there's no ambulance on the scene yet. Uh, you know, we're looking, uh, I'm kind of looking out both directions, all four directions here. I don't see any uh, RA units, rescue ambulances with the paramedic and EMT on board. Haven't seen those yet. There is quite a bit of traffic at downtown, as you might imagine, but I would have to uh, almost for certain say that as soon as the shots fired call went out mm -hmm. that uh, they responded to rescue ambulance right away. So it's just a matter of them getting here uh, to the suspect. And this started in the Olympic Division, LAPD, Washington and Vermont. And uh, okay. Gotcha. Still unclear, gotcha. too. We do know this vehicle was stolen. Sounds like Coming the weapon was stolen uh, yeah, that was inside. likely used inside that building. Also, it, the driver or the suspect may have a connection in some capacity to this building or to this business. So all of those Coming answers uh, or questions will be answered at some point once this investigation uh, concludes. But right now, sort of on a stand uh, and hold uh, to find out like exactly what's happening. But at least we have heard that it's the suspect suspect that is down uh, possibly from uh, right, having so that weapon stolen not sure if he shot at officers and officers shot back at him